my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm only late again today. Jesus, God save me. Ah, God, 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 save me. Save me. Ah, I'm late. It is official, it is official. I'm fired today, I'm fired. Good morning, how are you doing? Thank you. How are you? How are you doing? Why is calling me? She's not here yet, no. She's not here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey you, what time did you get to the office this morning? Hey, Gilbert. Where did you say you live? Songo Otama. Ogun State, precisely. And you got here at 6.30? Yes, ma'am. I left him around 4.30. Oh. So, my doorman, who stays hours away from the office, left his home around 4.30 to get here by 6.30 because his job is very important to him. But my personal assistant is says just around the corner. Is getting here by what time? Eight thirty. You left early, indeed. Can't you see that she's quite incompetent? I'm, I'm sorry. My mother was sick. Your mother? Yes. Remind me if I can't remember. I thought your mother died eight months ago. Yeah, um, I mean, she's, she's like my mom. The woman is like my mom. Hey, young man, what's your qualification? I have a BSc in Management Science. Management Science? Yes, ma'am. BSc. And you are a doorman? Congratulations, young man. You've just gotten yourself a job as my personal assistant. Since you have good work ethics, while my personal assistant who is a graduate in what, what class is that? public relations, I think you would do well at the door to be able to relate with the public very well. Passing my keys. I'm waiting for you. Don't keep me waiting. Take the keys. Just like that, you got the promotion. Just like that. Yes, my dear, just like that. You know, baby. Everything is happening so fast, like, I don't know, it's just like a dream. And I can tell you God has a hand in this. Hmm? No, come to think of it, I, I, uh, my salary has been tripled. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't get to stand by the door all day. Okay. Now, the most beautiful part of this is, from now on forth, I will be working in an air condition. Tell me about <laughs> this! <laughs> you see, a babe? Now eh, you will know your guy is a fresh guy. Absolutely. <laughs> You've always been a fresh guy. Mm -hmm. But some cool air will mm -hmm. make your skin scream in Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. No, you're sounding like the Tino I used to know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Finally, you've gotten all you've ever wanted. Mm -hmm. Like we're going to do everything we've planned. The wedding. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my favorite dress. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Should we go shopping in the US or in the UK? Or, okay, I don't know. I, I can't even decide right now. What is it? Are you okay? 
I just hope I'm not a bad person. Why did you say that? Well, oh, Miss Bellamy, of course. You know, her job, she has been demoted, and I don't know. I just feel, I just, I just hope, I hope I'm not this terrible guy. Well, but all the same, I'm excited I got promoted. Yeah, I'm excited. You're not, my darling Shego. You're always thinking about others before yourself. I'm sure God will sort this spell me. Besides, God is probably teaching her a lesson or two. Hmm? Demotion as a lesson? Ah, no. <laughs> I don't want something like that. I can't cope. Now that's... No one chooses a topic in a course. The teacher or the school authority does. Well, um, that's by the way, okay? Let's celebrate my promotion. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Alright, so tell me, where do you want me to take you to our place? Hmm. The Bahamas. Let me get my special <laughs> to you. Let me get my salary first. No, oh, yeah, no, don't worry. Let me get my salary Let's start planning. We plan. And I'm your willing, willing. Hey. Willie darling. Darling. The winning woman. Willie sweetie. <laughs> you know I'm your. Hello. I am Yosma. Sorry, I'm Nima. Are you okay? I'm sorry. With that woman. I mean, she's all I think of. Look at me. I'm not this person. I'm a chartered accountant. And what am I doing working in a hotel and event management company as a mayor accountant? I, I, I came here so, so I can get close to her. Beats me every time I, when I think about the fat paying job you left to work for her. Are you alright, Willie? Dude, for just one wedding, one <laughs> sight, and I'm stuck for life. I can't, I can't even help myself. I, do you know what? I actually tried to make him move. You should have seen the way she looked at me. <laughs> I lost my confidence. And I sort of, I, I go home, I was just thinking about her, it was everything, and I thought of a way. And, well, so you left your fat paying job just to be close to her. Guy, I don't think boss lady is ready to get married though. She's too proud to be close to, I mean to submit to any man. I used to be a Casanova. <laughs> well done, Ladies guy. Ladies man, I mean every lady was fucking over me. And Yo. look at me just here and one lady is just playing with my heart. <laughs> look at it now, this thing is made from heaven, look at it. Winnie marries Willie. Uh huh. Heaven match. What do you think? Uh, so because your name matches, uh, so you are the best match for her now, huh? Before call. Guy, you are very silly. Can you say silly and Willie matches? Whatever. Eh? <laughs> so, uh, I'll tell you the truth, huh? This girl has me in a hook. And whether hook or by crook, I'll get her. You'll see. I'll get her. I know you know. Maybe I should write a love later. Uh-uh. <laughs> that doesn't work for her, man. How would you know that? You don't write uh -uh. it up. <laughs> that one has the, the, the old book in this federation. I, I what do you want to write?
Um, the college I went in has to be top notch. Like you know, they will be having the creme de la creme at their event. So I don't need to tell you that that will be the perfect opportunity to sell our brand, to let people know about Winnie Hotels and events. BB College IA, I'm sure you know her, Mr. Willie, the social media influencer, you know her, you know, those loud people. By the way, she will be featuring a wedding on most blogs, and that will be a cheap advert for our company. And like I was told, they might be lodging in the hotel, so I want everything top notch. Based on what you have in front of you, they are offering us 25 million to plan the event, the hotel services, and everything. So, Mr. Willie, yeah, I want you to look into that budget to write a budget for what the 25 million can cover. And from there, we kick off. Are we okay? The traffic was just too much. No problem, Mr. Shagun. I know you're not a lazy type, so I'm sure it's something you couldn't have avoid. Please have your seat. So, you, uh, Mr. Willie, I can do a recap. Can you do a recap for Mr. Shagun? Tell him everything I have said. So, can you take the floor? So soft when it comes to him. See, this guy, this guy, this guy has something up his sleeve. I can't perceive it. That guy has ulterior motives. Eh? Maybe it's after our money. It has to be that. I can bet on him. He's using one of those good luck charm employees use on their employers. Eh? Yes. How does it work? <laughs> so that you can use it. It doesn't last, guy. But really, I have to keep tabs on this guy. I have to. I just have to. Guy, calm down. Not everyone is like you who is dreaming of dating your boss. That guy has a babe. I heard him talking almost all the time. When does that stop anybody? I have to be. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are you both doing here at this time? We're waiting for your client. Oh, okay. Um, have you seen Mr. Shevo? I have been looking around for him. I was just in his office and he's not there. Do you know where he is? What do you want from me? What do you want from Shegu that I cannot do for you? I'm here now, I can do it for you. Huh? What do you want? Mr. Willie? He actually stepped out for lunch. With his fiance. Okay. Monsieur. Winnie will come to look for Shegu, the security guard. It's Juju now. It's Juju. It has to be Juju. Oh, that was not fair. Mind yourself. Who. Who's talking to you there? It has to be Juju. I'm telling you something. Which one is calm down? Calm down for what? Hello, Mr. Rogers. Hello, Ma. How are you doing? Um, I'm really, really sorry I'm calling you at this time of the night. I mean, um, it's just that I, I need to get more information about the security guy yeah, that, that's just become my PA. I don't know much about him and I'm quite bothered. I just want to know, you know, a few things about him. Maybe you could send me his CV. Okay, ma'am. But that will be in the morning. Everything I have on him is at the office. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Rogers, are you saying that as the HR manager of my company, you don't have any information about one of your staff? I mean, like his age, where he comes from, like... Hello, ma. I'm with you. What are you saying? I could drive to the office now to get you what you need. 
about his age is about uh, his 36 years and coincidentally his birthday is tomorrow his birthday is tomorrow yes ma'am okay all right tomorrow we'll do good night he's 36 years old and i'm 35 i found the mad for me Thank you so much guys, like I am so surprised. I wasn't expecting this. It's not from us. Okay. From who then? From the boss lady. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. We look like jokers to you. Who's going on? Guy. I don't like you. I don't like you. Never did. I will never like you because I feel like you are using Juju for winning. And you know what? I'll destroy you. Wait, you are getting things mixed up here. Why, why would I do that? What other reason? Data and steal our money. Goodly. <laughs> like, it cracked me up. Seriously. I wasn't expecting them to say something like that. <laughs> there may be sense to what they are saying, though. Definitely not from your end. But your boss might be interested in it. Babe, even you. I don't like the sound of that. Based on your usual likeness and kindness she shows you. This is favor. Hmm? I have told you times with that number. There's, see, there's no time I leave the house without praying to God to grant me favor. I'm used to praying the prayer of favor whenever I want to leave. Listen, the God I serve is the God of all flesh. And there's nothing too difficult for him to do. See, no matter how difficult or hard the person seems to be, once I hand over the person to God, he knows how to turn their heart to favor me. So what's the big deal in what God has done? It's too small compared to what he can do. Babe, I want you to calm down and relax your mind. I hope that's it really. That's it. Tino. Look at me. Look at me. I love you. No one can take your place in my heart. I got you, babe. Trust me. Hmm? You're smart for me. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. <laughs> You can say that again. We had a very beautiful event. And a big thank you to you for being the perfect personal assistant. I mean, you were really, really helpful. <laughs> well, I have to thank you so much, Ma, for giving me the opportunity to serve you. Well, an opportunity well utilized, I must say. You know, let me say this to you. You are a million times better than Pelumi. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that I miss Pelumi sometimes, you know. There are things she does for me that I miss. And that's just all. Um, like what, Ma? Uh, cooking? Because I'm a very good cook. <laughs> you are? Yes, very well. Wow, that's good to know. But I meant um, girl stuff. Like she, anytime I come back from any event, 
She does my foot massage, my back massage, you know, all of that. So that's what she does. And I think that's the only thing I miss about following me. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. I don't want to put you in a spot, but I understand. So it's fine. Um, I'm sorry, Mom. I won't be able to do that. Perfectly understood. Thank you so much, Ma. I would like to be on my way. Good night, Ma. Marry me, then. Marry me so that you can do whatever you want to do with me. Please. I'm engaged, Mom. Then disengage from her. I can't. I love her. And so you. You hate me? Uh, no, I don't. I actually love you, but in a different kind of way. I, I mean, the agape love. Listen, Shegun, I'm a good person. And you are a good person too. I mean, I've studied you for the three months that you've been working closely with me. I see that you're the kind of husband I want. You're that kind of man that I've been dreaming about. You don't steal, you don't lie, you're just a total package. Please, Shaken, please just marry me, please. And I and I show you I'm gonna be a good wife. I'll give you I'll give you a good life. I'll give you everything that you want. Sixty million. I'll give you sixty million if you if you agree to marry me. And yeah, I would tell my lawyer to include your name in all my documents. That means everything I have, my properties, will be ours. Please, please, please marry me. I knew it! And what did you say to her? I told her I was engaged. And? And she still insisted. Shagun, you are no longer working for her. What? What do you mean? What do I mean? Are you considering marrying her? No. How would you think Then of... why does the thought of quitting sound like a difficult tax? Because you're selfish and insensitive. Babe, you know how long I've been searching for a job? And suddenly by divine providence, God gave me one. It is unwise to quit the job now. Because my boss is kind of showing a love interest in me. I can't do that. Please understand. Please. Sorry, you strong and brave man. Even Joseph fled when his madam tried to lay with him. Is this not the Bible playing in modern age? Christians, always looking for scriptures to back up your cowardice. Listen, babe, I am not quitting the job. And that doesn't mean I will end up marrying my boss. It is you I want to marry. Easy to say, my brother. Hey. Oh, you guys eat here, right? I'm surprised. It's not a surprise. I was right behind the door when boss lady proposed to you. Guy. This is your herbalist. Gave you super confidence. You know what? I'll just go straight to the point. Do not resume office on Monday. Don't try me. Or else, you see this your gorgeous, beautiful lady here? We will roast her. That's not a bluff. 
<laughs> You're too serious. Don't scare the lady now. Remember, don't try me. Have a great night. Shagun. They want to roast me. I am not corn or plantain. Me will let you consume me. Goodness, why do I keep thinking about this Shegun guy? Winnie, can you stop it? He is your personal assistant. My goodness. I know he's cute and all of that, but mm, he is my worker, for goodness sake. He is my employee, for goodness sake. Ah, uh, get off my mind, get off my mind, get off my mind. confused right now because what God told me was he wanted to use Mrs. Winnie as a ladder to take me to new financial light but right now she's asking me to marry her Shegun, that's not possible she has it all twisted I don't believe that's why God told you to take the job Tino is your wife <sighs> bro it's just like I'm in between the deep blue sea and, and the devil. You know, I don't know what to do right now. Like, I am so confused. Should I quit the job and lose what God wants to do through her? Or should I just take it as this is the way God wants it? No. no. My advice is fight it. The devil is distracting her from her main purpose in your life. <laughs> The big question is, how do I fight it? Are you asking me? You know already, Shagun. Okay. No problem. I would... I'll try and do something. I'll figure it out myself. I will. Thank you so much. Yeah. God have mercy. So we have... A tax of 2.5 million. All right. And um, we need to recover 7.2 million. Okay. From the Intercontinental Insurance. And we have uh, a total of 3.3. .3. From Liberty Bank, yeah. Okay. So that's all. It's point five. Three point three, seven point three. All right. Okay. So I would I would work on them, mom. Right. All right, man. Huh? Yeah. So. So I would do the, just that, mom. I would like to take my leave now. Too. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank 
maybe maybe she's meant to be my wife no but she's beautiful maybe Tinu was just meant to be a friend if I marry Winnie I, I will be able to help Tinu out of her poverty I will settle her no Tinu is the woman I love I love her no get deep behind me Sita I will win this yes I will uh, so scissors just breaking leg no kill him make him no kill him just teach him a lesson sure man that's a small thing now money for hand back for ground no me leg one thing that's Three not that's, that's not a problem dude don't worry money is not a problem dude. i'll wire it to you dude i don't want this no I, that's why I say make you just break in legs more. Bro, I bet free, I bet. After all, you know, go come work again and you have the office to yourself. Tempting, but no. Bro, I bet get free. Don't no, worry, I will run smart to stay on account. Don't worry. Oh, you're. Every hour. Okay, I'm. Oh, go. Yeah, I'm mad. Thank you. Hold you. I'm mad. Going now, was it? Okay, this is needed. What's needed, bro? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't rule like this. It can just lead to certain issues, and all because of what? Because of a woman. I bet, guy, free matter for my tires. I don't want this, bro. Whatever. Because I don't want you call the vex, they go. I beg, stay there. Dude! The babe now, my babe now, why the vex for inside the matter? Welcome, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Where is Mr. Shegun? Um, he came quite early as usual, but he came to drop you off his keys. I guess he won't be working here anymore. So since my post has been made vacant, I decided to quickly step in. My keys. I already opened the door and cleaned up your office like I used to. Well, better give me back my job. I didn't come to Lagos or Cambridge. Sorry I called up the job, but I couldn't sleep all night. Guy, I was trying to help. And since my help is not appreciated, no problem. It is appreciated. But look at it. Bloodshed because of Winnie. I'm, I, can't, I can't have that on my conscience. Moreover, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking and I don't think I can do this anymore. This whole Winnie chasing and all that. Dude, I'm done. No more. Sure. Oh, yeah. Make I answer completely. 100%. Tomorrow is stressing me out now. It's stressing me. The stress is too much. 100%. Okay. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> You're good, right? All right. Make I make some order now. Okay. Well, I'll see you. Care. Care. We are cool. Right. Take care, man. IG. Yeah. Good morning, Ma. I'm sorry for giving your key to Benjamin. I could not bear to look you in the eye again. Ma, what you ask of me is a privilege. But I need some time away from work to recover from the shock of the offer and take the best decision. I will resume work very soon, Ma. Thanks for your kindness so far. Why is it that 
to be people do my boss and yes you did it and I'm grateful thank you so much but God my boss is asking me to marry her <laughs> so marrying my boss that's definitely against your will I know based on human sense, they would advise I marry her or get money off her. But I cannot. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. Good. I know you have the heart of king in your head. Hey. You have power over everyone. All I am asking right now, please just turn her heart away from me. Just turn her heart away from me. You think of it. I am suspecting really, really like this woman. Exactly, yes. We really like this woman. So, God, if that's the case right now, okay, all I am asking for is you please kindly turn her heart towards me. He really will be the good man, good man for her. Just please turn her heart towards her, him. God, there is absolutely nothing difficult for you to do. Please, just prove to me, just this once, prove to me that you are the God over everyone. Please. I can't let go of Tino. I can't. I can't. Okay. Come in. Who's there? Oh. Mr. Willie. What can I do for you? Love. It's been a pleasure working with you this past three years, but I think it's time I moved on. Why? What is wrong? Did I do anything bad? Let's just say it's been a lost course working with you this year. Oh. It's been a wrong course working for me. All right. I didn't mean it like that. It's fine, no problem. It's really fine, no Winnie, problem. It's not fine. You know what? It's fine. It's really fine. It's not fine. Winnie, it's not fine. Why have you made yourself so unreachable? Why have you made yourself so hard and scary? What's wrong with you? Why this thick exterior that nobody can get close to you? I've liked you for the better part of working in this place, but I can't say anything that out of the blue you just proposed to an unavailable guy, just like that. Is that fair? I, 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 I've loved you. You know what? I've cried myself out and I've talked to myself. I've advised myself and I've decided to stop fooling myself. So you know what? Just have a great life. Are you genuine? What? I mean, do you really like me? I'm sorry. No. You don't have to be sorry. I should be sorry instead. 
I mean, I'm sorry that I appear to you as unaccessible, proud as you call it. It's just that I had it rough when I was growing up and I swore that I had to be successful and, that, and I didn't want to be sleeping with men so that's why I put my head in my business. I'm sorry if you see me that way. In fact, I have the softest heart in the world. It's just that I don't want people to take advantage of me. Don't mistake my firmness for pride. Advantage? Take advantage? Yeah. I know you're rich, but I'm comfortable. I'm a chartered accountant, remember? And reaching out to you for a job wasn't because I didn't have one. I first saw you at my sister's wedding after you planned it and somehow I... I I couldn't stop thinking about you. You were everything that I thought of and I just wanted to get close to you. That was why I came to work with you. Why do you like me? I don't know. I don't know why I like you. At first it was just fondness. Then when I came to work with you, I saw more reasons to to like you, to, to love you, and you became my world, you became everything, and I, I couldn't stop myself, ma'am. Can we at least drop the ma'am title? I mean, you can call me Winnie. Seriously? I can call you Winnie in front of you? In front of me? Does that mean you've been calling me Winnie behind me? call you winning when, when I'm sleeping, in my dreams, when I'm with friends, when I'm eating, when I'm doing everything, I call you winning. Okay, call me winning, please. Winnie? You're fired. I'm joking, right? You're serious. I knew this was a joke and all that. I was only joking. I was joking. I like you too. Seriously, I do. <laughs> I like you, Willie. I do. Friendship of ours would last forever. Amen. Amen. Forever and ever and ever. Amen. The truth is, the truth is, Winnie has actually turned to a prayer warrior. We're like pastors now. I mean, she prays into the night. Whoa. Somebody shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> so, 
sorry. <laughs> well, that's, that's part of the influence you guys have had on us. Oh my God. And I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank well, you. it's amazing. Uh, uh, much of a brother you've become, hmm. considering where we are coming from. Okay. And you're, my, you're like a sister to us as well. <laughs> we thank you for this family. Thank yeah. you so thank much. You. I'm happy you enjoyed yourself. So we just said, we should just say I before you resume back to work. Thank you. We appreciate it so much. Okay, so this is not a, what do they call it, courtesy visit or what? Yeah, it's um, partly courtesy visit and business visit. <laughs> Boss. <Both. laughs> okay, so um, my wife and I, we are relocating to Germany. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And um, this is not one of those uh, where they come back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh so you're trying to run away. We're not. We're still proud in Nigeria. Yeah, okay. yes, no, we want country. to expand. Uh, <laughs> you know, we need to. We go more out for this country again. <laughs> okay, so we, we thought that uh, we have to dispose of some assets. And. Um, well, but I think you should be talking about this, not me. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, like my husband rightly said, we would like to dispose some of the assets and um, the hotel, the hotel business is like the first one on our list. And while I was thinking about who to sell it to, um, you know, Mr. Banjo, or my Italian friend. Yeah. yeah. He was the first person on my list, but. In my head, I kept hearing your name. Yeah, like, Shego is a graduate. He studied management, so why don't you give it to him? Why can't he handle it? And I told him, and he said, yes. Let us call Shego on board if he's interested. So the deal is, we hand over the management to you. You take it over, do whatever you want to do with it. And every year, you give us 50% of the profit. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, are you trying to tell me right now you're handing your business over to me? If you say yes to it. Who says no to such a word? <laughs> <laughs> I am saying yes on this video. Yeah, that is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Oh my God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Man, this is people. I, I don't know what to say right now. We think. Mm -hmm. We think. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. Yes, yes, yes. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. We think. It's a chance. Oh, yes. my God. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. My God. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's after us? Yeah. I'm telling you this guy. I bet you. I bet you. You help me, man. What? <laughs> but we thank God. We thank God. <laughs> I wanted to carry away something that wasn't yet. I wanted to roast my wife. Did that just happen? Is this how God works? I remember God telling me, Mrs. Winnie, He was going to use Mrs. Winnie as my financial helper. But I'm just grateful. I'm grateful I didn't try to help God. And thank you for choosing me over us. Babe. No. Mrs. Winnie was never an option. Yeah, it was either you or you. Thank you. You're right, you know, about not running away when faced with challenges. You were able to keep your job without bowing to our wishes. It's God. I serve the God of all flesh. And there's nothing too difficult for my God to do. No matter how hard the person is, no matter how strong will the person might be, God has power over them all. I serve a God that, you know, calmed the hearts of King Nebuchadnezzar 
So tell me, why should Mrs. Winnie's situation be a difficult one for him to handle? I'm just glad got to control. Because at the point, Mrs. Winnie was trying to be a stumbling block. And she was trying to destroy God's plan and the blessings he had for me throughout. But I'm glad, babe. I'm so glad. Like, God gave her what she wanted. Thank you, anyways. Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. Yeah, um, when I assume the post officially, I plan on um, promoting Miss Bellumi. Wow. Yes. That's nice. That way, everybody gets to feel happy. <sighs> we thank God. Okay, now wipe the tears off your face <laughs> and smile. <laughs> <laughs> you are me to be Hey, I can be so emotional at times, you know. Who is supposed to be more emotional? Me or you? Mm, ladies, thing, you know, but promise me this time around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are you fine now? I believe the movie you have just watched has blessed your life. To partner with us in doing more life touching and life changing movies, your free will donations will be appreciated. The ministry's account details is as follows Account name Deep Thoughts Ministry International. Account number 01. Two three zero four zero three zero nine Bank Wema Bank. Our dollar account is as follows Account name Okwayani Morenike Akitunde. Account number zero five nine five zero three two two eight one Bank Guaranteed Trust Bank GTB. Thank you for getting involved in our father's business. Your seed will bring back great harvest for you in Jesus' name. To contact the ministry, call or WhatsApp plus 234-906-992-6797 or plus 234-815-110-3646. Social media handles are as follows. God bless you.